The whole purpose of this show is to engage with business owners and be able to answer questions for people that will give them some insight and perspective on how to grow and scale a business. Not only leadership, but real life examples. This is the golden moment. I would do business with you right now. This Brandon Dawson person, who is he? What does he do? Can you, Mr. Can you, can you elaborate? I sure can. Welcome, Josh Dawson. Mr. Brandon Dawson is the CEO and founder of Cardone Ventures with Mr. Grant Cardone. They're business partners, and our mission here is to help business owners grow and scale personally, professionally, and financially through the growth of their businesses. So Brandon is our fearless leader. You will meet him this evening. And he grew his last business from about $500,000 and sold it for $151 million. In 2016, it was 77 times EBITDA, which is just truly remarkable. So if you're looking to grow your business like that, if you're looking to scale, if you're looking to develop yourself personally, professionally, and financially, you are in the right place. Josh, do you have anything to add to that? Yeah, you know, I want to give a shout out to our chief marketing officer coming in at way, way, way under six foot four. <laughs> And 155 pounds of just swag and Chipotle. He hey. is our chief marketing officer. Take it easy, Josh. <laughs> Take it easy. He also has the best haircut in the house tonight. He does. So That's let's true. give it up for Buck's haircut. He, he, I'll take that. Thank you. For her shoes, too. Thank you. God, look, listen to this. I come on for 15 seconds and nothing but compliments. So great. Uh, Josh, just so you know, I'm actually. I'm actually six, around six three tonight. <laughs> okay. Six eight. Did you borrow Heather's shoes? Heather, come over. Come look at Heather. How <laughs> tall is Heather? Heather, how tall are you? Heather's six foot three. Watch where when she walks into the frame here. Watch where I'm at. Watch where I'm at. Ready? She's six three. I'm taller than. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Hey, welcome to 10X Owners Live. Thank you to the pre-party group for getting this started. Josh Dawson, Dr. Edwards, Enrique, appreciate you guys. Man, there was a there was an early crowd on this. Like we were we were setting the equipment up 45 minutes ago, and there was a group of like 30, 40 people in here. I appreciate everyone taking the time, taking the commitment to be here tonight. Love each and every one of you. If you're brand new, I want to know it in the comments. In the comments, please let me know if this is your very first time. We just we roll out a very amazing red carpet for newbies. So we want to know if you're newbies. If you've never come to this, and you're like, what is this Zoom thing? What is this Brandon Dawson Cardone Ventures? Grant told me to come, so I showed up. Put put new in the comments. Put new N E W in the comments. And and by the way, this yes, this is live. It is. 457 here on the west coast it's just about eight o'clock on the east we do this every single tuesday for business owners just like you you know that are looking for that little edge up i loved what i heard enrique say earlier just imagine if just small little tweaks in your business small little things that you didn't know you didn't know drove massive impact on your revenue created massive value in your business for not just revenue but for your customers so then when your customers have better experiences, they're coming back more often, right? So now you're creating better retention in the business. That's what, that's what you get here. You get this for a complete hour. You get access to really, really smart people. And one of those, one of those really smart people happened to be our Cardone Ventures CEO, Brandon Dawson, who will be here momentarily. Brandon Dawson is a scaling merger acquisition expert. He has bought and sold hundreds of companies. He's seen it all. He's literally seen it all. If you think your business is special, yeah, but I'm in a market that you've never been in. Yeah, I'm in a vertical that you don't know about. I promise you, I have challenges with talent and you've never seen anything like it. I, over two years now, I have yet to see somebody stump him. Heather, how long have you been with Brandon? Almost 12 and a half years. 12 and a half years. Have you ever heard a business challenge that he was like, you know what? You're on your own. I don't know how to solve that. Not once, not once. It doesn't happen. So I want you to bring your challenges tonight. I want you to lay the challenges on us. Okay. In fact, why don't we kick off in the comments here? 
in the chat. Let's get interactive. What's the point in doing this live on Zoom if we're not going to engage and interact with one another? In the comments, give me your biggest challenges in your business. Now, if you received our email, and I'm going to be watching this chat, I'm going to be waiting for some of the big challenges to come through. Oh, let me say hi to our newbies. So Michael is new. Welcome. Lewis is new. Kiana's new. Let's see. see. Uh, Yolanda's new. iPhone is new. Okay, so we do have some rules. iPhone, we do have some rules. It, when you come to Cardone Ventures 10X Owners Live, we want you to change the name of your Zoom so we know who you are. So put your name in there, iPhone. Uh, let's see. David is new. Let's see. Melinda. Oh, no. Now we're getting into some challenges that you guys are having. So let's see. David said his challenge is himself. David's having issues with himself. Hey, that's good self-awareness. We actually work a lot with business owners who are having challenges with their own ability to be great leaders. Oh yeah, you are on anyone on Zoom tonight. You can see right behind me. I've got, uh, go ahead, swipe through there, Dimitri. Look at this. So if your cameras are on, I'm gonna highlight you back here. Let's take a look. Let's take a look back here. We see Colleen's made it tonight. Jonathan's made it tonight. John West is in the house. Christopher's here. We've got Katie. There's Mike Brown down here in the lower corner. Thank you, Mike, for showing up every Tuesday. There's Brandon. Okay, Brandon is on. Unreal. I was like, where's our fearless leader? And amazing Natalie Workman, our chief operating officer, is here with us tonight. So let's, let's get the party started. I don't want to sit here and keep blabbing at the mouth. I want to go through these challenges, and I want to turn it over to Brandon Dawson. Let's kick off 10X Owners Live right nice. now. Let's do it. The whole purpose of this show is to engage with business owners and be able to answer questions for people that will give them some insight and perspective on how to grow and scale a business. Not only leadership, but real life examples. This is the golden moment. I would do business with you right now. Ladies and gentlemen, the Brandon Dawson, somebody unmute him. He is still muted. There we go. Brandon Dawson, do take it away. How you doing, Buck? Hey, hey, we're up. It's fantastic. Here in Scottsdale, the weather couldn't be better. It's a gorgeous, it, it, gorgeous it, it, evening. It is nice there right now. What's the temperature? Because we're heading it's down tomorrow. below 100. So I'm, it's 93. So I am happy because that 100 degree heat is crazy out here. So it's yeah. a perfect temperature for our business summit coming up this weekend. It is a beautiful, beautiful Scottsdale weekend. Man, we have a lot of stuff happening this weekend because we've got two days of uh, business mastery leadership Thursday, Friday. We've got, and there's what, probably 60, 70 people there for that. Mm -hmm. That's right. And then we've got the essentials program. Is that going on at the same time? Same going time. On? Grant Cardone always says you never go to a place and just do one thing. A hundred percent. We follow suit with that. We never just do one thing when we are in a place. And then we have a massive 360. I think we're going to see over 200 businesses, committed it's business about, owners. It's and, about 270 and, businesses over the entire weekend. Yeah. Amazing. Just, it's like, hey guys, look, if you want to know how to stay busy, Grant talked about that this week. He said, you know, you, the bigger your team is, the busier you can get. That's why you need employees. That's why you want employees. So yeah, and you look, if you look at the Cardone Ventures team, uh, we're, we're quickly approaching 73 to 75 people. Mm -hmm. and, and, and the reason that we can go and host five separate meetings simultaneously is because we got a remarkable team. And, and so that's a tax speed. You speed everything up and do things bigger, better, faster because you got more people that can support you in the process of doing it. And, and, and I think this is a great example of that. Buck, did you go on an interview today? Yeah, seriously. What's with the suit and the tie? I can't hear you. Can't hear you. Is, uh, so uh, I, I did have an announcement that I wanted to make. And uh, tonight is going to be my last night with Car No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, I Mike listen, drop. This, Mike drop. See you later. This is, this, this is one of my best suits. And I decided tonight to put on, they call this color, actually, if you, if you look up close, they call this color Cardone Closer Blue. That's what they call it, Cardone uh, I Closer was, I, Blue. I thought you were wearing your little boy's jacket. No, in fact, I'm in my underwear from the camera down. You just can't okay, see it. Okay. All right, we're on a live show here. But Everybody, we did, Okay, all right, I'll leave it alone. Hey, no, but in all, seriously, in all seriousness, if you received an email from us tonight to come to Owners Live, 
we kind of hinted at something. Brandon's talking about a big weekend here in Arizona that we're having. We said the three things that are essential for your business, the three things that are essential for your business. And of course, we're talking about people. We're talking about finance. We're talking about marketing. And we've got some amazing clients here tonight, Brandon, that have gone through some of these marketing people, financial programs, the essentials programs that are here in Scottsdale. And they've had massive impacts on their business. So throughout the night, I'd love to bounce around and talk to a couple of our clients that have gone through that. And maybe if you're brand new, we can give you a little bit of context as to why these things are important and how you should structure it. And Brandon is an expert at doing that. Yeah, well, you know, what's happening, Buck, is is there's a lot of people. Uh, how many first timers do we have on here? Yeah, let's, let's, let's see the chat. first how many... time is it? Let's check again. When we asked earlier, Hi, Ken. hey, Welcome. Ken, how you doing? It's just See, Ken. Ken, just you're, Ken. The you're the only, only new, new person. No, no, no. There was about 20 when we asked before. They're okay, just there, taking there a go. Minute. There we go. Hi, nice Hi, to Brad. meet you. Use guys. the chat, guys. Use the chat. Welcome, Jose. Also, That's tell us where you're coming from. When you say you're new, when you say I'm new, I'm new. First time, Scott, say where though? Connecticut, Rich is Connecticut. Paul is Pennsylvania. New, new York. York. California. We were just in New York. Uh, we were in New York. Last owner's live. Last owner's live. So New York, Miami, Texas, Washington, down to Arizona, wow. India. India, that's awesome. Bul Bulgaria, it's 3 a.m. Amazing. Thank you for being here. Look at here. all these great people. So, so, you know, Buck, they may wonder, like, why are we on here doing a live show every Tuesday? This is what our 65th. Very cool. Is this like, oh, are we lagging? Are we lagging? You? No, we're past. At, I think I think we're in this. We keep an employee count the same as the owners live. I think we're in the seventies almost now. Can you guys hear us? Is Buck uh -oh. lagging or are we lagging? Yeah. Can somebody put that in the chat? Buck oh, is lagging. Buck Buck's is lagging. lagging. Okay. Well, uh -oh. <laughs> we are hosting the show tonight. Uh, I'm not sure what Buck. So is so saying. so Buck. So this is this was my point, right? Like we we've been we were in New York last week, mm -hmm. Miami. We're in Washington state right now, just landed. We're here for meetings tomorrow. We fly tomorrow night to Arizona. We have massive meetings in Arizona. Why am I talking about this? Because here's how I view the world. It is August 15th, I believe. 17. 17. We have four and a half months left in this year mm -hmm. to make it the best year of any business we've ever managed or ever ran. And so attack speed for new people is when you could remove time from where you're at to what the true market opportunity is and collapse that so that you can accelerate your success. And, and what I'll tell you is that there's never been a better time in the history to make the choice to attack the next four and a half months. So we would just ask you, we have so many programs. If you're new, we would ask you to look at what is the right fit for you. You'll hear from some of our people on here tonight that have been through a lot of our programs, but what is the thing that we can help you identify that we can help you attack so that you can have a 30 to 50% growth in your business this year and build a new relationship with us. So we love having new people on this, this owner's live. One of my favorite activities to do in August is to really think through what do I want to be celebrating come Christmas time? We are already, I'm sure you guys are as well, getting time off requests for the team because as the summer comes to a close and fall starts up and kids go back to school, people are prepping and planning for the end of the year. And as you think about the end of the year, a big motivator for me, and I think this is an important thing for you to figure out what those motivators are for you, but for me and for us, it really is looking at and thinking about when December 31st hits, what are we celebrating? What are we proud about? What are the things that we can do right now that make us pivot so that those special moments, I'm a New Year's Eve girl at heart, I freaking love New Year's Eve, second favorite holiday of the year. Uh, but when I'm in celebrating that night, I want to be thinking about, okay, when I'm toasting and when we're excited about the next year, what are we really proud of about this year that we did that were hard things that were difficult choices or putting ourselves in a new situation and meeting brand new people that we maybe have felt uncomfortable prior to joining that group. 
And so as we start to go into the tail end of this year, this is what we're talking about and want to make sure you guys are having the same conversation so that your businesses can pivot. 100%. Hey, Brandon, we are going to, we are, I'm back on schedule. Are we yes, on? Yes, I'm back. Schedule? Welcome. Fantastic. Welcome to Welcome Tech back. Center's Live. Thank you so much. Good to be back. Uh, we do have some, you know, we do have a lot of questions that are going to come in, but if you want to spin the wheel at any point and say, let's go to a marketing story or a people story or a finance story. We've got amazing clients that have gone through that experience with us and I'm happy to bounce there. So you just tell me what you're feeling. If you want to go straight to Q and a, like one of the questions was uh, David reader said he spent a lot on programs and he feels like he's failing. So maybe we bring David in and talk. Yeah, to bring him about on. Why David, let's talk struggle. about, let's talk about what a struggle mindset. Come on, buddy. You're a good guy. You know, you're a good guy. You got badass jackets. But something is between. It ain't the money you spent on no, the that's programs. A different, no, no, that's different. What's, it's David. Oh, you got David, David Reader. Yeah, guys, pull David oh, Reader up. Reader's right next to him. Yeah. Wow, Jared's look right at that. That's pretty funny. Not Jared, <laughs> I, I not Jared, Jared Reader. Like, David Reader. Why is Jared David. struggling, man? Nobody that wears those jackets can be struggling in life. That's what I know. Where's David? Pull David up. Let's have him, let's have him talk is. about what he's struggling with. Unmute yourself, David. All right. Well, we'll wait. We'll come back for you, David. We'll wait I, for you. David. Thank God it wasn't Jared because I see him with his green, green jacket. I'm like, man, this dude's always smiling. He's always got badass clothes. He cannot be struggling. No, he's this crushing it. You wear, this is what happens when you're three feet or three feet from the computer and you're wearing trifocals. <laughs> That's, you know, Jared's always crushing it. There's no doubt. No doubt. Why don't but, we um, Jared unmuted? Yeah, let Jared come on here. You might as well. We called on him. All right, Jared, we're going to unmute you, buddy. Yeah. Hey, how you doing, bud? Doing good. The bright blazer broker ain't struggling. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to you guys. Jared, yeah, what, what was the last program we saw you at? Oh, I was at 360, but I'm currently in platforming right now. And after that, we're going to be signing up. Uh, Dr. G and I have committed together. We're going to do the, uh, the uh, BLMP together. So that's Woo! awesome. We're, good for yeah, you. Yeah, we're excited. We're from the same town. We we get lunch all the time. We're really good buddies, and we're 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 pumped. So, how great um, is but, that? That when you can be in different businesses, but through the 10x community, you can find people in your same town, learning the same things you are, striving together. And Dr. G's business, Dr. G's business. When I met him two years ago, yes, was was doing like uh, I think like 300 or 280 grand or something. He's going to do yeah. three million this year. That's right. That's right. Absolutely. And. And we're at a 45% increase this year after doubling our business last year. And I was like, there's no way we'll beat 2020. We, we doubled our business literally and we're at a 45% increase. So can't thank you guys enough. Dude, I told you, you know, I said, come to 10X 360, you'll grow by 30 to 50%. That's what that's everybody right. does. And that's exactly what you did. Uh, and now you're accelerating through the platform. Greg did it. Now he's accelerating through the platform. It's awesome. These are, you guys have so many great stories. I just really appreciate your commitment to your own success. Yeah, absolutely, man. We're excited and, and we're going to be coming back for the essentials and probably get platform delivery at the same time, hopefully in November. So we'll see you in Scottsdale for sure. Yeah. That's awesome, dude. Well, I'll have to get a custom 10X jacket at some point. There you go. We'll, we'll make it <laughs> sleeveless too. There you go. Make I it don't know sleeveless. About sleeveless, but... <laughs> awesome. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, I appreciate you guys. Nice. All right, Buck, who, who else we got? Yeah, so let, why don't we do this? Why don't we start going to, uh, why, don't, why don't we explain what the Essentials programs are this weekend in Scottsdale? Simultaneously, you've got a Financial Essentials, you've got a People Essentials, and a Marketing Essentials. And these are three different programs that all happen at the same time to help you really dig in deep on the challenges that you're having, whether it be people, whether it be your marketing strategy, or maybe it's your financial modeling or understanding the KPIs inside your finances. I'd love just, I mean, from a data standpoint, I'd love to know what you believe your biggest issue is. Is it this three choices, people, marketing, or finance? Where are the three out of the three areas? Which one is your biggest problem? Now, I'm going to take a guess. I'm going to hold the answer to myself. But I think I know, yep, there it is. I already see it. It's already in the lead. We've got some people coming in. We've got some marketing. It's always marketing people and then finance. That's usually the way it lays out. You got some more people, lots of people, lots and lots of, so, okay. So since people seems to be, be the biggest challenge, 
I'd love to go to Pat. Can we unmute Pat really quickly? I'd love to bring Pat in because I've watched Pat go through some amazing transformation in his business and then even in his personal life. Um, and he just recently went through that People Essentials workshop with Natalie Workman. And uh, I know that 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 made a, a big impact on his life. Pat, are you with us tonight, buddy? Yeah, I am. Can you hear me? Fantastic. Yeah, yes. Pat, for anyone that's brand new, it's like, what's this People workshop? Why would I go there? Can you just explain before you went and, and listened to Natalie and learned more about how to inspire, how to create, you know, better leadership in yourself with your people. What was your expectation going in? And then what was it after you left? What, what impact did it drive on the business? Hey, Buck, before, before Pat answers that, I think for new people that don't know who Pat is, Pat came to one of our events about eight or nine months ago. And at yeah. the event, he started telling us that we didn't understand his market. There was no That's way right. for him to grow. His business was was capped. Um, and, and this was kind of his last shot to try and figure out what to do with it. And, and so that was what eight or nine months ago, Pat, uh, what are you going to do between then year over year from pre coming to the 10X 360? Now you've gone through all our programs, but what are you going to do in revenue this year? Uh, so last year we were total revenue at $1.5 million. Uh, we had an approximate I'd say from a cash standpoint, we're about a $80,000 net profit on that. Pretty good. Uh, this year, now we've changed the books around because of you guys and, and, and your direction. So changing it over to accrual. Uh, so we've gone, and I mean, I can tell you exactly where we are at to date. So Last year at this time, we were at $976,000 today. This year, we're at $2,775,000. Nice. Major Put a 10X difference. in the chat. Put a 10X yeah, in the chat. Yeah, more importantly, more importantly, because revenue is vanity, profit <laughs> is sanity. How much money have you made this year? Okay, so we have gone from in... 2020 to want from $128,000 in net profit to this year where $1,211,000 in net profit, which is yes. an 840% increase. Because and, of, and now the reason yeah. I wanted you to bring that up is because while well, people are sitting here listening and you say people are your number one problem, marketing is your second problem finance essentials is your third problem. The truth is, is what you learn in the finance essentials allowed you to have the awareness and understanding to drive your marketing and to incentivize your people yep. because now you understand how important all three of those elements are working together. Put yes, if you would be willing to spend, I pick any number, $25,000 to see an increase in your business in the next 12 months where you take your income from 120,000 to over a million in nine months. Yeah, to get yeah. Pat's gains. Would you that, that's, that, that's, you know, we've, we've spent, you know, a lot of money, but when you sit there and you look at those numbers that are today, real time, and you can turn around and say, would you spend 30,000? Would you spend 100,000? Would you spend 250,000? to turn around and get yourself a million dollars in the, in the end. Are you kidding me? Do it tomorrow. <laughs> you yeah. know, well, There's you no made that commitment because I'll bet you by the end of this year, because those numbers that you're talking about in profitability, I think it's important for people to understand that. I always say no money is going to become, no, uh, become between us and our relationships with our clients and, and so that profitability number is after you've already paid us probably a couple hundred grand this year. Yep. Yep. So true. And I've noticed Pat's quality of question. Pat was just with us. He was at the, he was a VIP at the exit mastermind. And he got to ask some questions to Brandon and Sharon Lecter. They were all up on a panel and I was so proud. I was standing right behind Pat. His quality of questions have increased so much because he's learning so much. So I am curious. Now we know the backstory of your success, Pat. I am curious from the People Essentials Workshop. Yes, you learned in finance and marketing and people, but from people specifically, what was the thing that slapped you across the face and really made change in your business? 
uh, well, Natalie's tutelage on everything, you know, she has a brilliant mind and, and I want everyone to know how great it is to be able to utilize that. And, you know, it's, it's incredible. Natalie, thank you. You know, uh, what, what was the biggest thing that I, I learned? It, when we always talk about it's the fire hose. So you get all of this information and how crazy it is when you get that, but it's taking it home and taking and driving two or three items and putting them into play. For us, it was taking what we call the personal, professional and financial goals of our employees and going through that process with them. It was taking the component of how we try to communicate and try to create intentions with our communications when we have conversations with them. So making sure that we're clear with that communication. Um, Isn't that crazy, Pat, that you, you, like something as simple as like how to communicate with other human beings. You're like, yeah, I know how to communicate with people like get it done i need you to get it done today and there's no there's a there's yeah a, system that, a process right yeah yeah, yeah. I, humans or especially us as owners have a tendency to say i need i want you have to do this this is what you're supposed to do and i i think we take that human element out and i think a lot of times we need to kind of sit back humble ourselves a little bit and then move in a different direction and and you know natalie has talked to me more than once over you know the our our period of time that we've been together and and said redirect it this way move it this way and and to have that information is it's worth its weight in gold and uh you know we we've been able to take and take the systems and processes that she has for the hiring and change how we're wording our hiring processes for the onboarding for people and how that's made a difference. And, and we've hired some really high quality, high level people that are incredible for us in, in our business. And we're still looking for more too. So great. Awesome, Pat. Appreciate you being here and congrats on all the success. Natalie, if I could ask you a quick question, you get someone like Pat for the first time in your People Essentials workshop, which is going on this weekend in Arizona. It is not too late for you to join. What is it? Like I know in the marketing space, the question that everybody hits me with, it's the same question over and over. What is it that most owners think their people problem is that you keep getting that you have to kind of rephrase and redirect to business owners as they come to your people workshop? They always ask, how do I motivate my team? Every yeah. single business owner, I open up many of the talks that I do with asking the room, like, what are your people problems? Because I want to address the room. I want to make sure that the content is relevant to their biggest pain point. And most people think their biggest point is the motivation of their team members. And yeah. I, what I love so much about Pat and anybody who chooses to show up, especially the People Essentials course, this is like my baby. This is eight years of learning from learning me. from him. <laughs> but really, it really is. I, I have such an incredible mentor and I have watched him do things that he knows how to do intuitively. And my systems background and process mind has created into a process. So you don't have to have the magic of Brandon Dawson. Like he really does have this magical ability to communicate well. And I didn't, I didn't come out of the womb with that same ability to communicate. And so I had to put a process in place. And so the people essentials workshop really is breaking all of those pieces down. But what I love so much about our clients and for the 425 of you that are on this call right now, like it's Tuesday, it's after work. Many of you guys, it's you're on East coast time or it's 3 AM or 2 AM in the morning and you're so committed. So it makes us committed to helping you break through those blind spots. And Pat, the conversations have always been like, you're doing great in these areas, but how can I be a coach to you and point out where your blind spots are so you can break through that and be able to have the success that you need. So whether that's hiring the team member that you need to add into the business because there's a weakness there or firing that person that is 
your asset in some cases, but really a liability in others, it's my job to make sure that those pieces are identified so that you can go home and actually implement. Yeah, and you know, hey, Buck, I'm just going to say, like, you know, um, um, what what Natalie exemplifies is the strength of the system that we've been teaching for 20 years, and 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 what Pat talked about, and what Dr. G talks, you know, and, and for those that he's on here, but th these businesses that are going through explosive growth that are doubling and tripling and 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 10 xing, um, it's because they learn the things they don't know that nobody else is going to teach them. And, and, and when you go higher, when you've like, like Natalie has been working with me for eight years. Apparently I was great before you, Natalie, you were great before Brandon. So I was great before you. That is true. He oh, was you. just the catalyst to your brightness that you shine oh upon, a, wow. upon us right, in right. the community. The point wow. is, <laughs> okay. okay. Those You're are some not, nice words. There you go. You got to start <laughs> writing my cards for me. So, 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 the, so, so the, 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 the point here though, is when you learn how to communicate with people and, and so here's an example, so many business owners come in and they're frustrated because they can't motivate their people, but that's because see, they're entirely, entirely disconnected from what you can actually do as a human being, as a leader, you can't motivate anybody. As a human, you can't motivate anybody. So you're even using the wrong words. So you're frustrated because you can't do something that you're incapable of doing anyway. No human can motivate another human. They can inspire them. But if that other human does, isn't internally motivated, they will not do it. So if you want to get action, because the way that results happen is you have a thought, you take action, and that gets a result. And attack speed is the faster you can have a thought, the faster you take action, the faster you get the result the more energy is created, which means you're removing time from the equation. What you need to do is learn to find motivated people. And then you need to learn to use language that inspires them to want to be bigger, want to be better, and want to be more impactful. So when you come in, when people come in and they immediately are like, oh, I just can't get anybody motivated. It's so frustrating. Well, because you're using language that absolutely won't work no matter what anyways. So you got to learn the right language so that you can communicate it to people that need an example and need somebody to help them succeed. And when you do that, you start using the right language and you start put, presenting it the right way. You inspire people that are motivated so they'll go execute and create the result. I want, let's go. Uh, Heather, can you run through the background here? Hold up. I'm going to move out of the way. This is you right here. Hold up. Everyone get your camera on. Hold up your piece of paper that you're taking notes on tonight. Go ahead and scroll through. Who's taking notes? I'm gonna I'm gonna hold it up if you're taking notes. There's Josh, Josh Dawson. Dawson, hold it up. I see Josh right here in the center. I don't see Larry. There you go. Larry Spack's got his notebook up there. There we go. George has his notebook up there. Guys, I'm gonna pop quiz you right now. Can you motivate your people? Can you motivate your people? Can you inspire your people? Can you inspire? Who is taking these notes? These are the nuggets that I talked about that we give every single Tuesday. So I hope that when you come here, you come prepared to take these notes and apply them. Now, the next question, Brandon, obviously is, how do I inspire people? Which is what they probably have to come to the essentials to find out, right? Yeah, well, I mean, I can say, you know, the, the, the thing is, we talked about it this week and we had a remarkable Sharon Lecter, her husband, Michael Lecter, Natalie Buck, myself, Jeff, who runs our finance, Tanner, Tanner who runs our mergers and acquisitions business. Uh, John, who is a dear friend of mine that runs a $6 billion equity fund. Um, we had a panel. What we talked about is value creation. And, and people asked at the beginning of, of the program, 10X Exit, they asked the question, like, what are the three things when we leave here with that we really have to, like, remember? And I said, the first thing is, if you're going to inspire people to want to conquer with you, your picture has to be big enough that they can see themselves succeed inside of your picture. And when you don't have a picture and they can't see themselves succeeding inside your picture, then the language that's used is frustration and can't motivate. And, oh, they'd rather stay at, work, at home and get the free money from the government. Oh, I can't hire people because... Well, it's all the wrong conversation because you're not looking for people who are internally motivated to succeed inside of your picture. 
and they'll do anything and everything they can to help you if you're helping them succeed. So the language that's being used is always wrong, which means you can't find great people because you're not attracting them into you because your picture is too small. And anybody with any self-worth moves outside that picture to accomplish what they want because they don't think they can do it with you. Yeah. And Brandon, you made a great point at the exit mastermind this week. You said Buck left his opportunity, almost a million dollars in opportunity, not for what you had. There wasn't a dollar in revenue or a very small amount in revenue at Cardone Ventures. I left because of what Brandon inspired me to believe in for what he was building. Like you literally had to draw out the building blocks of what Cardone Ventures is and what we were building. And it didn't even exist yet, but you inspired me. And I'm a motivated person. And that's that's where we hit traction together. And I, I dropped everything and, and went full on, totally. And moved to two states. And went to two states. That's right. So um, I can't wait to talk to Samantha and Jonathan tonight. Can we unmute Jonathan and Samantha? Brandon, Natalie, wait until you see they've been to the Marketing Essentials Workshop. They take content seriously. They take promote, promote, promote seriously. Look at this. This is the debut of their brand new in-office studio. Look at where Jonathan and Samantha are right now. Is, hey, Sam. Yeah. Hey. It, it's <laughs> hey. actually really, let me show you. You're on boxes. <laughs> <laughs> Putting it up. So anyways. You, you got your seven screens up there, your logos up there. They're just getting serious about promotion. I, I love, love it. it. That's awesome. Yeah. Very cool. So. So Samantha, much like Brandon was was asking, by the way, there were a few people that said, what does Pat do? We, we told a great story. Pat's in landscape, by the way, just for the, I saw a few of you asking. So before we go into your experience at the Marketing Essentials Workshop, tell me a little bit about the business, where you started, when you met Brandon. I think it was the scale program online was the first thing you guys did. Yeah. And, and then from there, how you've catapulted. Um, so actually the scale, that was about a year ago today which is crazy because we're, I feel like totally different people. So, um, I mean, and we're young too, but anyways, we started on the scale program and then we met you all in person in December and we at the marketing workshop. And then we did the people, the finance, the 360 and now the platform and it's great. So love it. Um, and what has it done yeah. for your business, Samantha? What is it? What, what change have you made in your business? So recently the marketing, the, everything's changed. We actually, in August, we had a business and we ended up selling it because we knew we were capped by the organization over us because we were captive. So we were um, top three in two years and we just knew we had to make a change, but we didn't know what we were doing. We just knew we had to do it. So we went, we just did it. So anyways, it was crazy for a while. And um, anyways, we really started, we didn't really start until February. We went in December, but we weren't doing anything. So anyways, it's just totally changed. And I think that I've, you know, taken everything from, I'm, I kind of just take everything. And I think that the thing it, that I need to work on more is me because I can, I can process it all out. I'm just, I'm like a machine, I think, but you are, you I, are. but I, but I know that I need to focus on me. So anyways, but the marketing thing recently, um, we had a call with Buck and, um, the thing that shifted was we were trying so hard for referrals, like asking everyone. And he just said, provide the value. And it's, it's ridiculous. We've gotten over 20 referrals this week alone, and it is, it is ridiculous. So just the videos that we're putting out on YouTube, which is why we've got this in the background. Um, but we're going to do like valuable videos. Like I'm going to do a kid's video on money. And anyways, we're going to do a lot of cool stuff on YouTube. So. Yeah. I'm Samantha, we had a call. It was just a, I think about three or four weeks ago and we were talking about you know the referrals and retention. Brandon, you talk a lot about retention in the business. And as you grow and hit those different breakpoints, it isn't just the flow that you need. It's the current clients having great experiences and coming back for more. And so I said, in order to get that retention, yes, asking for a referral is great, but you know, time is money for your customers. And so when you're asking them for time and you're asking them for referrals, what kind of value can you deliver? And we brainstormed three or four little pieces of information that those personas really would love and benefit from. And I believe it was less than two weeks. You guys had already closed a couple of big deals. Um, <laughs> um, yeah. So, well, he, and I registered with Brandon, Brandon's like, you can't even go to lunch without 
Jonathan works all the time. So, so well, this is what Buck's done. <laughs> I'm walking in at nine o'clock from appointments because he's got us so much business flowing from giving our customers value. It really, at the end of the day, people think that what drives business is going to be some technical thing that Buck talks about, but it's the over uh, overarching strategy. And to the extent that you can drive value and drive it quickly, that's how fast you can get more referrals. Yeah. So he put out a, he put out a pinching planning video for like, anyways, the, everyone, this plant, there's like a plant and it's just like a gold mine right now. So it's Love great. It. So yeah. Matthew, what, you guys are a perfect your- example. You guys are just a perfect example. I, I just want everybody to feel this energy. Mm-hmm. Just, just absorb the energy. I saw someone write, you know, what business are all these wonderful people in? It doesn't matter. They're all, they're all, they're all conquering. They're all in different businesses. You got landscapers, you've got chiropractors, you've got suits and custom jackets, you've got insurance, you've got, you, you know, you got every kind of business on here you can, you can imagine. You've got Mike Ledoux on here who's in automotive parts. Uh, you, you know, you, we got everything across the spectrum, but the one thing is if you're paying attention and you're listening, they all sound the same. That's right. And that's because we've been teaching them the proper language and the proper actions to get the right kind of results. And, and so what I love about the, all these people, wonderful people that are on here is when you're in a room with a couple hundred of them and we're all working together, everyone's speaking the same language because that language is what we teach and program people so that you can go home and model and mimic what you learn to get the results that are just waiting. Like, 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 like Samantha just said, the river of life is always flowing. The river of life is flowing around you at all times. You can go to the river of life with a thimble, a cup, a teaspoon, you can go with it with, with a generator and a fire hose. You can go to it with a barrel. You can go to it with whatever you want. But the fact is that river of life is flowing all around you. And it's your job to choose what you're going to go to that river of life with. Mm-hmm. And in all of your biz, uh, lives, your river of life is the market that's flowing around you, all the people. And you need to attract that into your life so that you can convert your intention into a result and blow people's minds from the experience you create. And then you'll get more people wanting to work with you. So true. Brandon, when I hear you say that, I obviously, I think of, you know, beyond positive thinking, but I also hear success is your duty. Yeah. A hundred percent. That's why when Grant says that, that is the summation Success is the responsibility of the individual human being. And you are either a victim or a volunteer in mm. that equation. And, right, and that are you that. a victim or a volunteer? That's what I want to know. Maybe I'll never be a victim. Okay. Just checking. No, no. no. You, you can't I, land. Hey, Buck, you can't land a fiance like this. Mm. <laughs> if you're Tell a me about it. I got one too. It's hard. <laughs> I'm not sure what they did wrong but I know what I did right. <laughs> oh gosh. So great. Samantha, Jonathan, thank you. I did want to mention, you know, Brandon always talks about promote, promote, promote. You can't, you can't hire someone to solve your problems and say, I don't promote. I'm not holding a camera. I'm not getting on Instagram. I'm going to hire someone else to do that. Samantha was kind of like that when she came into the marketing where she's like, Oh, Jonathan does all the TV stuff. I'm not getting in front of the camera. She was actually the first time I'm just going to say it, Samantha, don't be upset at me. She was in tears at the marketing workshop because she was so emotional about having to get in front. True or false, Samantha? True. And I, <laughs> I got was... on, I got on camera. I got on camera live TV, local TV last week, and it was so uncomfortable. And I wanted to cry again, but I did it, and I'm going to do it again. So, because, and the reason she keeps doing it is we talk about in the marketing workshop. We talk about muscle memory. The first time you jumped in a pool and you didn't have floaties and you clung on to your mom and dad or the side of the pool, you were nervous. But the more Samantha does it and the more you do it as the owner that has the responsibility to promote, the more you do it, the more comfortable you become. Because I can guarantee you a a year later, Samantha is much more comfortable promoting and she's driving new relationships in the ability to promote, not just what she does. Brandon always talks about why she does it and who she does it with. And she's she's just a master at that. And I appreciate you guys being on here tonight. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. And so um, can we really quickly, I know we're going through a lot of these stories and sharing success. Everybody's got some good feelings. We're getting good notes from Brandon and Natalie tonight. Bryce, can you put up really quickly the workshop 
one sheet so that anybody that is new that's like, hmm, maybe I should make my way out to Arizona, 93 degree, beautiful weather. This is what it looks like. You've got the business summit. You choose which track you want to take. Marketing Essentials Workshop, where we go through content creation, connecting with audiences, tracking campaign performances, technical, technical, technical. Or you go through the People Workshop, People Essentials Workshop. You're learning how to align your team, how to communicate like Pat and drive new revenue into your business because your people are aligned, because you're developing top performers, because you're transitioning top talent. And then the third that Brandon talked about, do not negate your finances. You can't do any of these things if you don't understand the blueprint, the model of your financial statements. So create aligned budgets, build compensation models. If you've never done that, this is 4997 per seat. So this is the place to learn those things to make your business move. Evaluate that business from a financial standpoint. You choose your track. How many of you, let's say yes or no. Yes, if you've been to any one of these essentials. No, if you've never been to any of these, it's called the Business Summit. So any of the Business Summit workshops, I'd love to see. Let's look at the chat here. Yes or no, yes or no. Great, great. I'm seeing, I'm seeing yeses and nos. I'm seeing a little bit more nos than yeses. That tells me we have some, some brand new people on here, Brandon, that we've never met, some new owners that we've never met before. So here's what you want to do. 503, write this down. If you're taking your notes, write this down. 503-536-0997. That is the direct number to our team. And they are here. And by the way, they're here all night. They're here for the next four hours. So you don't have to call right now because I don't want you to miss any more nuggets from Brandon and Natalie, but I want you to write the number down because you're going to make the commitment tonight, just like Pat did, just like Jonathan did, just like Samantha did. You'll make that commitment to come learn, to grow, to become better, to better yourself. 503-536-0997. And you'll see Cardone Ventures has put it in the chat there as well. So there is one more person I'd like to bring up. This story is so crazy to me. Parnell, can you unmute Parnell? So Brandon, talking about the financial workshop. Yes, you're going to learn how to build those financial models. Yes, you're going to understand important financial KPIs things that you've probably never looked at in your business that are going to uncover new things. Now, Parnell went through the financial workshop and he found something very interesting in his business. Brandon, you know what story I'm talking about, right? Yeah. And you know what, Buck, you guys will hear it from Parnell, but are you about to steal his thunder? No, I'm just saying though, that, that when you learn, does that. when you learn, when you learn what you're supposed to be looking for, because you have people who are experts who have done it thousands of times and you as the business owner take ownership of your future mm -hmm. and you take the first step to knowledge and awareness and action. Then things like what Parnell is going to talk about flush themselves out much sooner. That's right. Parnell. So talk to us. First of all, tell us, everybody gets up in arms tonight. So I want to do a better job of being a host. Tell us what type of business you have and tell us your annual revenues right now. And then, and then tell us what you learned at the finance workshop. Yeah. So uh, I run a real estate company, actually two of them. I have a commercial division and a residential division. And um, we, we started at about 800,000. We've been bumping up against that for years. We came to you guys' essential programs. We got over a million two. If everything goes as planned, we should be close to a million five, maybe two million nice. this year. So Put a 10X in the chat up. for Parnell. I love that. So things are working the way they're supposed to be working. So it's been great. Um, however, thanks for opening an old wound. We've kind of bandaged this, but we're, we're getting through it. So uh, we were, we were yeah, we were more of a family business than not. So, um, you know, you think you can trust people and, and you try to trust everybody you can well my best friend's daughter was an agent in our office and uh we went to the financial essentials and jeff talked about making sure you break all your income into different buckets so you know where it's coming from and that meant take each agent just don't take all your revenue into one place so you can see where your money's coming from and then he talked about how you set up a structure to get your team to buy into your vision and give them compensation so we started running the numbers and what we found out is that my best friend's daughter had been stealing money from us, shaving a little bit of commission off the top of each deal. And she wow. just kept adding more and more as she went. 
so total the commissions you know weren't as damaging as the stock options we missed out on so the commissions came out to be about twelve thousand. The stock options we missed out on were about fifty thousand. So all in, we were about sixty-two thousand dollars that we found had gotten stolen from us. So it was a, it was, it was a shocking. Yeah, and that's because you started to put in the diligence and building out the models and having awareness and attention on the things that are important on your finance side that you weren't tracking and didn't look at closely before, right? Correct. We didn't even know to look at it. We didn't, we didn't, you know, that, uh, you know, GCI is what real estate agents always talk about. You never think about the profits. So when we started digging into the profits, that's when we noticed that we got taken advantage of. Man, man. So you know, I'll, you tell you, about- I'll say part of it, I appreciate you willing to share that mm-hmm. story. I'll, I'll tell everybody on here that, that probably 30, uh, 28% of the businesses over the last 20 years that we worked with, have either had people stealing from them like this, or they had people incompetent in positions losing that money. And when you think about how much money that is <clears throat> over a long period of time, it's a shame to not have the awareness and the understanding of what to be looking for and what to be looking at. So, so fortunately, true. we found it fairly quickly with Parnell because if that would have gone on for five or 10 years, mm-hmm. it could have really added up. Yeah, right. It could have been right. easily in the millions. And it really helped us because since we're able to do that, we know how to track now. So as we talk to our agents, they know we know how to keep track of what they're doing. Mm-hmm. So it's really streamlined our finances. So it's, it's, it's been a huge help. And I'd recommend it. If you can send somebody to each one of those courses, people, financial and, and uh, marketing, I'd get each one, somebody at each one of those as quick as you could. They're, they've been fantastic for us. So it's, it's been a huge help. Awesome. But, but Parnell, which one was the best one? <laughs> yeah, yeah, be honest. <laughs> Well, Megan loved the people's one. I love marketing, so I love marketing, but the financials was the best one for us because it saved us uh, the most money. There you <laughs> go. go. There you go. <laughs> so so the, the question is, what, what was the best ROI? And it would be finance would be the best ROI. Yes. Jeff, it sounds like Jeff finally <laughs> sounds like Jeff finally got a count. Hey, I'm always on <laughs> Go, Jeff. <laughs> Great. Parnell, thank you, buddy. I appreciate you being yes. here today, man. That's all. I'm curious. How many of you have had an employee steal before for the, all the owners, the hundreds of owners that are here tonight have, Oh, the other hands are give, raise the hand, put it in the chat. Look at this. Yes. Yes. Imagine if you could just put simple processes in place to deter that. Right. I there, I'm telling you, we would love to sit down and meet you in person. We're really, Brandon says this all the time. Every Cardone Ventures employee is looking for relationships. We're looking to meet you, to help you grow, to help you expand, not just, this weekend in Scottsdale, this is just the beginning, this weekend in Scottsdale. We're looking for years of commitment, years of accountability on our part to help you grow your business. So I'm gonna give the number one more time. There it is in the chat, 503. Thank you, Jared, appreciate that. 503-536-0997. So Parnell, what he was talking about was he sent an employee to each one. He's got a marketer he sent after he went through marketing, he sent his marketer to my marketing workshop while he was in finance. And then you could put someone else in people. And then if you have your leadership group, you can share your notes a lot. You know, a lot of our clients, they're, they're coming through multiple times because they're hitting new challenges at different breakpoints in their businesses. So maybe you come one quarter and then the next quarter, you're bringing someone else through with different questions and different challenges. It's intimate. It's two days in person, it's happening in Scottsdale this weekend, and, uh, and, and we'd love to meet you. Brandon, you want to go to Q&A? We got about 15 minutes left. Let's do yeah, it. Let's do it. All right, awesome. Hands are up. Let's go to Tony. He's been patient. Tony's hand is up. Let's ask Tony, what's the question tonight for Brandon or Natalie on 10X Owners Live? How are you, buddy? Oh, did we get him unmuted? No. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We'll go to, let's see, we'll go to Dr. Greg. If your camera's on Dr. Greg, we'll come to you. I know you've got questions. Use, oh, is it on now? Okay. There it is. Use the reactions button on zoom. Use the little reactions button and raise a hand. If you have a question, that's how we're going to do it. That's how we see you tonight. So there we go. Now the, the hands are coming up. Dr. Greg, how are you, buddy? Doing great. How are you doing? Good. Well, great. Now that I hear you're going to make that commitment to the business mastery <laughs> leadership program. That's awesome. Yeah, I make lots of commitments. Hey, I was going to uh, leave a note for you at, uh, at Brandon's house in the garage for uh, uh, with the green screen there. But I decided that 
um, maybe that wasn't the best time to get uh, attention. You know, I didn't want to promote in that way. <laughs> Good. Smart choice. Smart choice. What's your question, Dr. Greg? How can we help you tonight? Um, I really, I had uh, a question earlier, but it got answered. So I just wanted to say to everybody, um, one of the things that I've done over the last couple of years is commit, commit. Um, and when Grant says commit, figure the rest out later. Uh, that's, that's a real thing. So commitment is, is real. Um, but you have to believe in yourself that you're going to pull through. Grant said something that was really impactful to me a few years ago. He said, the only way, the only reason you would not borrow money to do something is because you did not believe in yourself that you would be able to pay that money back. Mm. And that's where that commitment started to nag at me. And that's why I am where I am now because of, uh, I joined with you guys and, uh, committed to it. Love it. Thank Appreciate you, Dr. You. Greg. Appreciate you, brother. Yeah. Let's go to Steve, Steve Patty. We'll unmute you there. Hey, Steve, how are you? Welcome to owners live. What's your question, buddy? I'm great. How are you guys doing? Great. Good, good. So uh, we just went through kind of a disruptive um, pattern. There was like a ransomware attack on our the company that hosted our service. So we've actually been able to come out of it uh, with help of you guys. Uh, remarkably, we had rebuilt our entire system. Um, we had several people walk out. We have a much tighter team. And I guess my question is really, what would be your steps in kind of rebuilding like your new nucleus of employees in in getting things to the next level. Yeah. So the first thing is, the first thing is you need to go backwards and understand how you allowed that group to assimilate around you and, and really reflect on how, why you hired, who you hired, what kind of latitude you gave them, how much you abdicated to them versus delegated to them, um, how, how clear, tight, you were how clear and concise you were on their responsibilities and their roles and their contributions how accountable you held them or didn't hold them. And you need to go through that. And, and, and then you need to, the, you need to then look at the attributes of your best people, the attributes you want from everyone. Because when you start re-interviewing and talking to people, you need to speak your reality into existence. And you do that by being very clear and very concise about what you do want but what tends to happen is business owners under pressure start interviewing people and talking to people and they talk about what they don't want. Well, whatever you think about is what you talk about. Whatever you talk about is what you do. and Whatever you do is what you're ultimately known for. So any thought you have in your mind that's not pulling you to your future ideal picture, that, that future uh, scene that you want to have, um, whatever thought is happening in your mind, it's either pulling you to that, that ideal scene, or it's pulling you away from it. And the only power, the, the only thing we as human beings can have true ownership over is how we choose to think and what we choose to put into our mind, and then how that drives us, especially under pressure. So Maxwell talks about when you squeeze orange, you get orange juice. So if someone's got the wrong stuff inside of them and they get under pressure, that stuff's going to come out. So I would just say to you a, a, a very specific diagnostic on the attributes, the qualities, the characteristics, the contributions that you want to have from your absolute best people. And that's all you talk about. And you never talk about anything in the past that's happened that didn't work for you. No, that, that's awesome. I love that. I, like initially, we were definitely in the weeds, like you go on the negative side of things and you're kind of freaking out trying to figure out what to do. But that's what I've been trying to, you know, hold myself to. You well, know, and, and, and the thing is, if you want to, do you want to accelerate that? Do you want the fast track? Do you want the secret? Do you want the answer? Yes. Then you need to come to people essentials because that's all we talk about for two days is exactly how to get, how to find, attract, align, develop and retain great people because the the thing that everyone on here if you haven't built a massive business that you don't understand is that hiring and having a great contributor is not one thing it's not the luck getting somebody who cares it's not the skill and it's 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 the discipline and knowing how to do all five of those things to have the right people stay with you to help you build your organization and it doesn't happen accidentally it happens with intentionality 
And right. Brian, I love the Buck held that up. Sorry about the uh the uh you know the 10x um emergency, emergency business response yeah. right here. No, that's got it. like perfect. It's like perfect, perfect. Yeah. I was I was curious what chapter would make the most sense. I'm looking through this. If you don't know, yeah. this is a free book that Brandon Dawson wrote literally in the first week of COVID as they started to shut stuff down. It's cardoneventures.com slash emergency. You'll see it down in the chat here in just a second, but it's got the life raft, jail, how to unify your people, how to get all hands on deck, create checklists with KPIs. So uh, Steve, I, I know you've read this before, but for anyone else that goes through some sort of crisis or emergency in their business, this is a fantastic free resource. I mean, just packed with, with, it is, with value. Here's the deal. We, were just talk, we were just talking about moving your business through through people. So my, the point I was making was that the People Essentials program, you can read the book and you can keep practicing or you can right. come in two days and you can get Natalie to teach you exactly how you need to go home and engage your team and what you need to do. And very fun yep. fact, prior to Cardone Ventures, I, I didn't tell anybody this until starting about two months ago, but I had never recruited a single person in my entire life. Like I had no experience. That was not something I did in our dental management company or our audiology management company. So with our Cardone Ventures team, I was directly responsible for hiring our first 50 team members. And everything that I learned through the process, I would say our team is freaking fantastic. I know you know this because you are in the SBU. Uh, most people when they meet our team would like to figure out how to duplicate that and to create that for themselves. All of those things that I learned and put in practice for Cardone Ventures, it's literally me talking for two days straight about them. Awesome. I probably missed it. When is the next one? Because I'll be there. It's this weekend. This weekend. Thursday, Scott's Friday. Day. That's right. Thursday, Thursday Friday? Friday. Yep. All right. We'd I'm love to see you there, happen. Steve. I'm going to make it happen. Yeah, we're awesome. going to see Steve in Scottsdale. Can't wait. <laughs> All right, cool. Love it. Thanks, guys. Awesome, buddy. Looking forward to it. And then, hey, someone asked, like, if I'm just starting my business, do I need to go to People Essentials? I, the reason we created the finance, the people, and the marketing essentials is the, the number one issue for business owners is you start a business, and if you're fortunate enough to get it to at least to $100,000 a year, then you have an opportunity to make it big. Here's the thing, though. You, you got to know what you're moving towards. You got to know what you're looking for. You got to know what you're benchmarking against. You got to know what your stats are. There's 31 and a half million small to mid-sized businesses, 31 and a half million small to mid-sized businesses in the United States. 25 million have one employee, the founder means they can never get out of their own way because they don't know how to do it. So all these programs are built to teach you exactly what you need to know so that you can do it the right way and not waste time and you can accelerate your success. And when you hear all the success business owners are having with us, I see my buddy Mo on here. He, brought his, he brought his whole team to boot camp. He's in the leadership program. He's in, went 360s. He's in everything. He's platform. Why? Because He's got a business that's massively growing. He's got different issues than most people. Like people are like, oh, I started my business. I don't know how to get it going. Mo's got a different issue. His business is going to go to 100 million really super fast. And he needs to pave the potholes. Otherwise, his team behind him, as they're coming roaring up behind him, will hit a pothole and wreck out. And that's not good for Mo. So, yeah. so Mo, did they unmute you? They yep. did unmute. How's it going, Brandon? Hi, Natalie. Good, brother. Yeah. Hello. So, so look how young this guy is. What are you, Mo? Twenty six? Did you tell me? Twenty six. Yeah. Twenty six years old. How old your? How big is your business going to be this year? Uh, this year, we will profit. Uh, we will profit about seven million this year. Okay, guys. I just want everybody to understand. He's twenty six years old. They're going to profit seven million bucks. Um, he's made huge investments, brings his team with him everywhere he goes, brings his leadership group. He signed up for my leadership program for him and got, and we had a meeting and I think he had what, six of your leaders all say they're willing to fund out of their pocket if they can come with you and do it with you. Mm -hmm. So this is what leadership looks like. This is what leadership sounds like. Now, the question I have for everybody is, do you want to learn it after years of, 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 of repeated failures? Or do you want to learn it at 26? God damn, I wish I knew what you're going to know. 26 years <laughs> old. I just wish I knew what you're going to know in the next 12, 18 months at 26, 27. It's just amazing. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Thanks, man. So I have a question for you. Yeah. So, so I'm... 
I've, I'm, I'm definitive on my goal and what I want to do. And I got clarity on that uh, last week through BMLP and really getting precise on what I want to, what I want to do. And, you know, like I want my company to be a billion dollar company and that's, that's my target. I want to have a billion dollar valuation for my company. Um, how do I achieve a billion dollar valuation? Like what's the amount of net revenue that I have to bring in? And we're a private company, of course. Um, how much revenue do I have to bring in like net revenue for me to be considered? Like, what's the multiple on that? Like how, yeah, how does so it work? That's a great, great question. I think, question. I think a 10 X multiple, um, you will get a 10, you'll get an eight to 12 X multiple on your earnings at a hundred million dollars of EBITDA. So if, if you look at a hundred million and you could get as much as 14 times on a hundred million of EBITDA. Now, if you want to get to 18 or 20, you're going to have to go public right? Or you're going to have to find a strategic that's going to acquire you or a supplier who might acquire you. But you should just use for, for safety's sake, you should say, okay, if I want a billion dollar valuation, you need a hundred million dollars of EBITDA. Awesome. And you can do it, dude. You can do it. Look what you've done already. And you're getting, you're getting bigger faster because when you start getting momentum and the fact that you're into all these programs, your awareness and your attack speed will speed up dramatically. And you're already having the success you're having. So you're going to accelerate that. You'll, you, you could be at hundred million of EBITDA in five years. And I also think that's a fantastic question because there are so many businesses that say like that they have this, have this idea or this um, intention to create a billion dollar business, but they don't really understand what the numbers need to look like in order to make that happen. And so to the extent that you're really doing the math to say, okay, well, what does this look like? I know I'm at seven now. If I got to a hundred, when I get to a hundred, is that enough? Does it need to be 200? Is it 75? What does that look like? Hey, Buck, we just had a question here. What would be the best programs for acquisition entrepreneurs? We just did a, a two-day 10x exit program that was remarkable. Um, and, and we're doing a uh, IP trademark and copyright mastermind. Um, and so if you want to get involved, if you want to go out and acquire things, the finance essentials and then going to our exit programs would be the, the, the right yep. program for you. Yep. Torino, Torino asked that question. Torino, call 503-536-0997. Let us construct the path that you need to take. We'll take Brandon's path that he just gave and we'll spell it out and give you exact timelines and dates and how fast you'll be able to achieve all this information. I feel like we need a Cardone Ventures dictionary. There's some other questions coming in. What does BMLP stand for? Um <laughs> Yeah, there's a we need an acronym list. So business right, master yeah. leadership program. Um, the the other question because we haven't done this all night. What business is Mo in? He's in solar. So uh, I wanted to just let everybody know. Um, That's why I try to tell everybody. Look, we have every kind of business. Mosley's on here. They they reconstruct multifamily residences. You, I mean, we got every kind of business on here you can imagine. Steve's on here. He does uh, he does insurance. We got it all, man. We got roofers. We've got landscapers. We've HVAC. got electricians. We've got HV. Who's in the con construction space? Put put yes if you're in the construction space. Let's see. Wellness coaches are here. Yes. Todd is here with us. Who else is yes? Man, lots of yes. Is Justin Westmoreland's here. Uh, let's see who else. Uh, Dan, it's moving fast. Daniel, Mo, Richard, Tony, Sharon, Joe. And I just want to say, I just, I don't want to confuse everybody because the essential programs are great, but, but we had a construction webinar on how to build, how to cash flow and build your construction business yesterday. And we had a, we had hundreds of people on there, but can you tell them where to go to find the replay? Yeah, absolutely. Just go to cardoneventures.com. Actually, we're going to put it down here in the link. There it is. Cardoneventures.com slash value. Cardoneventures.com slash value. If you're in construction, that is where you want to click right now. Cardoventures.com slash value. Go click it. It's there. It's in the chat. We would love to, we'd love to learn more about your business. Yeah, we have, we, we, yesterday we had three of our contractors on there that talked about, or their constru different construction guy, like HVAC. Yep. Uh, Mosley was on there, multifamily. Uh, yep. um, Lionel. Lionel was on there from HVAC. We had, um, who else was on there? Uh, you had Norm from Chicago. Norm came on. Look, these are all businesses that have gone from like three, like in Lionel's case, three, he'll do 10 million this year. 
Norm from seven million. He'll do fifty-five million this year. You've got Mosley that's blowing it up, and Omar. And o- Omar was on there. Like, like, look, if you're in the construction space, we have been building out some very specific programs for you. And if you're in the landscaping hardscape, which which we have a lot of landscaping hardscapers that are out, you know, moving moving rocks and moving earth around, and and then also building stuff. Go to that link. We have so many successful uh, construction people, and we've got a special program we're rolling out for that. So go to that link and register and watch that webinar and get involved. No doubt. No doubt. Hey, I would not be a CMO or a very good CMO if I didn't ask. Right now, I'd love for you to go present mode on your Zoom and promote, promote, promote. Brandon and Natalie are here tonight on 10X Owners Live, and you're committed to yourself, and you're taking massive action and you're removing fear from the equation and tell us what you thought of tonight. If you had any value, if you received any good nuggets of information that impacted you, this is our trade. This is our ask. Just promote that you were here and get that camera. I better see it right now. Grab your camera. Let's see it. Where's your camera? I got mine right here. I'm going to do it. I want to see. Here's the zoom. Look behind me. Jim, pull your phone out. John, pull your phone out. Let's keep rolling through here. All right, Jeff's got his camera out. Anthony looks confused. Anthony, pull your camera out. Come on, guys. Here we go. Advance. What does that say? Advance. Yeah, there we go. Chess. John West, where's your camera, man? You always promote. Okay. Promote, promote, promote. We would love it. Tag them on Instagram. Brandon M. Dawson at Natalie Workman on Instagram. We would love to see what your experience is like here inside your business. Well, or your aren't business. they only seeing you if they're on present mode and you continue to talk? Yeah, sorry. Let me quit talking. You guys give a 10X and I'm going to mute. Go ahead. All right, here, we'll do the 10X. You get that head out of the way, Buck. Wait, his head's not in the way. I'm just That's kidding. our shot. I'm just kidding. Brandon loves picking on Buck. That's one of his favorite pastimes. You notice Buck has a little stage there so he can look taller. Everybody notice that? <laughs> that is it. That is it. I'm actually I'm actually two inches taller than Heather Block tonight. I don't know if you know. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Pan, yeah, go pan down. Let's see what I'm standing on here. You guys ready? You want a BTS behind the scenes? Look at this little box I'm on right here. Oh, that's awesome, dude. <laughs> little box. <laughs> little box. Oh, my God, you're like, you're like three feet in the air. Yeah, come on, Heather. Come over here. How tall are you, Heather, again? She's 6'3". So here we go. I told Nate he better watch out. <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, so you guys. Good. Great job on the show tonight. Um, and, and and uh, you know, we, we, we got your backs. We always love seeing everybody here. And we hope we can get you to one of our events so we can help you crush it while we still have time in 2021. Yep. Not only in the year strong, but set yourself up for a remarkable 2022. Happy so Tuesday, true. guys. Happy Tuesday. Bye, Brandon. Bye, Natalie. Thank you, guys. Listen, Brandon said it earlier. He never lets money come between you and a relationship with us, with Cardone Ventures, any one of us. So if you want to get to the essentials, but you want to do it now, you want to make the commitment, but you're strapped on cash and you're like, how do I figure this out? Which one should I go to? call us and talk to us right now. I'm actually going to answer the phone as well. When you call this number, my phone will ring 503-536-0997. You'll talk to me, Josh, Enrique, or Ashley. I'm going to let these guys take over and answer more questions about these three marketing workshop, finance workshop, and then of course the people workshop happening in Scottsdale this weekend. I'm here. It's 93 degrees. Let's have a beautiful, beautiful week together. Make the commitment. And if if you're new, I'll see you next Tuesday right here. Same place on 10X Owners Live. Take it away, guys. The whole purpose of this show is to engage with business owners and be able to answer questions for people that will give them some insight and perspective on how to grow and scale a business. Not only leadership, but real life examples. This is the golden moment. I would do business with you right now.